Well, today was day one of the National EMS Memorial Bike Ride Southern Route. It's the first ride of the year, the annual ride to honor EMS workers who lost their lives in the line of duty. A group gathered at the Carillion Clinic's lifeguard helicopter hangar this morning for the opening ceremony. Around 9 a.m., they began their seven-day journey to Myrtle Beach. WFXR's Imari Williams was at the ceremony today. She shares what this ride means to those within the community and beyond. This year I'm riding for a man who is in EMS since he was not able to drive. He was 14 when he got in the back of the ambulance and he committed his life to EMS. Lisa Johnson has participated in the National EMS Memorial Bike Ride since 2007. Throughout the years, she has kept dog tags of EMS workers she knew and wanted to honor. He, he worked in almost every ambulance service in Massachusetts and was just put his heart and soul into EMS and I thought this was the best way to honor him. She was joined by 16 other bikers today and EMS professionals from around the region as they honored the 83 EMS honorees who died this year. Andres Andrew Botello. Um, I'm actually riding for a personal friend of mine this year who um, actually passed away last year on the job, um, had a medical event while he was working. So I'm here riding with his dog tag um, to help show his family and to help show the, our coworkers that people remember him, that his sacrifices mattered, um, and that he matters to all of us. The group set out this morning to travel approximately 500 miles through hills and valleys to Myrtle Beach, making stops at EMS stations along the way to meet families of those who fall. And when things get hard, like today with the hills and, and the climbs, especially just outside of Blacksburg, because it, it gets really, really hilly. Um, all you have to do is, is reach down, touch these, look down and see them, and that gives you the motivation to keep going because this is why we're doing it. The route coordinator says they're starting in Roanoke this year as a homage to the first place of the first volunteer rescue squad nationwide. Every day they'll ride anywhere from 64 to 100 miles, honoring the physical and mental load EMS workers take on every day. We tell all riders, it's not how far you ride or how fast you ride it, it's why you're riding. And you will have very sore muscles, very sore areas of other parts of your body that you don't even think about sometimes. Um, but you wake up the next day and you want to keep doing it until you reach that finish spot. In Roanoke, Mari Williams, WFXR News.